in NSSF and uh, Raymond would know, is about 350 billion shillings in the last 60 years. But because of the new formula that we have agreed and we have begun implementing the last four months, we are going to double that money, the 350 billion. We are going to drop, uh, double that money in four short years. And in a very short while, maybe 10, 15 years, we would not need to borrow from elsewhere. We can borrow our own money as Kenyans. <laughs> I said that was significant because of where Raymond works. And he, 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 he's speaking here today. Uh, is, 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 is very instructive for me that a man from Zamara, the people who persuaded me that this is where we should go. I want to tell you, Raymond, that I have done what you guys wanted me to do. Please, you can, fo you can go and file the report in your... <laughs> and finally, I have... Um, uh, Mom has said two things about the children from Kikambala. And thank you, church, and many people who step in in spaces where government would actually be expected to step in. But you have stepped in to feed our children, to give them hope, to give them um, a future. I also want to tell you, Mom, what you are doing, the children you are supporting, and many of you are seated here. You may not necessarily have contributed to what mom is doing in Kikambala. But the good news is that the government of Kenya has given you an opportunity to do it. This year, we are going to use our taxes to make sure that 4 million children go to school and have a meal. Four million children who otherwise would not go to school, who otherwise would not attend class because they do not have something to eat. So, and in this city of Nairobi, we've agreed with the governor, we're going to feed 250,000 kids in the city of Nairobi, especially from the informal settlements when they go to school. We've started that pro program already. And so, to give hope to uh, many other children out there and to tell you as people who pay taxes in our country, just know that you will be feeding four million of our children, especially in the dry areas of Kenya, in the informal settlements of Kenya, and uh, we are working with governors and others to scale up and see whether we can reach six million kids um, going into the future. I love your passion about young people. I am moved by your, what you want to do for the young people of Kenya. And it is the very reason why I am ready to pay any price to have a plan on how to create opportunities for the young people of Kenya. Many people were wondering, I had many questions, why are you pushing this housing agenda? What is these houses? Who told you we need a house? We all have houses. What is this? Good people, I have said it before. I will say it again in church. It wasn't so much about the houses. It was so much about the jobs for the young people of Kenya. 
we have never, we have never had a comprehensive program 